Imagine a world without food. Yes, food, no way that is unthinkable, right? But what if I told you that there's a silent player in the game of food production? A nutrient that's as vital as the sun and the rain. This nutrient is potash and it's in danger. Potash, a term that originally referred to plant ashes soaked in water in a pot, is now a group of minerals containing potassium, used primarily as a fertilizer. Its history is as old as agriculture itself, with its use traceable back to the ancient Romans. But it wasn't until the mid-19th century, in Germany, that potash was mined and commercially produced. Fast forward to the 20th century, and potash production has spread worldwide, with Canada, Russia and Belarus becoming the leading producers. Belarus, a small landlocked country in Eastern Europe, is particularly noteworthy. This small nation possesses one of the largest potash reserves in the world and is the top exporter in the world, accounting for about 20% of global potash exports. This makes potash one of the largest export products for Belarus each year. Potash plays a crucial role in agriculture. It aids in plant growth, enhances drought resistance and improves crop yield and quality. It's like a top secret weapon in a farmer's arsenal, helping to feed billions around the globe but what happens when this weapon is taken away? What will happen and more importantly, what has happened when potash was removed? Enter sanctions. In recent years, due to political tensions and human rights issues, Western countries have imposed economic sanctions on Belarus, severely impacting its potash production. The ripple effects of these sanctions are not confined to Belarusian borders. They have spilled out as they reverberated across oceans and continents, reaching farmers from Asia to America. With the sanctions in place, Belarusian potash is struggling to reach the global market. This has led to a significant reduction in the global supply of potash, causing a sharp increase in its price. This has put the farmers into a twin bind. Farmers worldwide are feeling the pinch as the cost of potash fertilizer skyrockets, a cost that ultimately trickles down to consumers in the form of higher food prices. This makes producers, consumers, farmers and countries suffer. It's not just Belarus that is seeking a resolution. The US State Department, recognizing the far-reaching implications of these sanctions, is also keen on mediation. The goal is to find a middle ground, a solution that addresses the political issues at hand without compromising the global food supply. Here, there are no losers. It becomes a win-win situation. In conclusion, potash, a seemingly obscure nutrient, holds immense importance in global agriculture. It is a key to the future of our planet and to the future leaders of the world. Today, students will practice their mediation skills so the world can be a better place to live. The sanctions on Belarusian potash illuminate how interconnected our world is. A decision made in one part of the world can shake the foundations of food production in another. It's a reminder that in the grand scheme of things, we are all stakeholders. The stakes are high and the world is watching. As negotiations continue, one can only hope for a resolution that ensures the steady flow of potash, securing our collective food future.